But before we get to that, let me talk to you about C-stands because this is really important and a lot of people don't use C-stands and they are so important when it comes to photography. The C stands for cinema. This is the arm right here, which you can move up and down. This is the knuckle, which is actually removable. The wonderful thing about this is that it's really utilitarian. You can use it, you can put a head on it, and you can move it around in all kinds of different ways that makes it incredibly versatile. When I shoot, I like to have my light almost always about right above my head. That's gonna give you that flawless beauty lighting and it's gonna minimize shadows. Generally, when it comes to glamour lighting, that's what you want. You want the light as close to the camera's perspective as possible. And putting the light almost directly above your head is about as good as it's gonna get. And you can only achieve that with C-stands because you need this arm to be able to position your light that way. If you have it on just a straight stand, like one of the black stands that I had my background stands are, you see how it's impossible to put the light, which will be resting right here, above my head. It's always gonna be just to the side of you, which might be fine if you're shooting from far away because the light will spread a lot. But if you're starting to put the light close to the model, maybe you wanna create some nice soft shadows, you wanna make it a little bit more moody, that's when the position of the light is gonna make a huge difference. Now, another thing about C-stands is that there is absolutely a correct and an incorrect way to use them. And it's really important that you know how to use them properly because it can be quite dangerous if you set them up incorrectly. When you look at the top of the C-stand, you'll see there is one large knob that is on the knuckle. The knuckle is this detachable piece that rests on the C-stand, which is what makes it so special. Without the knuckle, you have just a stand. C-stands are designed in a way where you can get leverage. So you can tighten this arm as much as you need for however heavy your light is, without not being able to untighten it later. Let me show you how. When you're facing this knob, it's righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. So if you put a very heavy light on the end of this pole right here, you wanna make sure that it's going to be really tight when you drop it down. Otherwise, you risk the actual light falling down and hitting your subject or somebody else in the head. This is not a good thing. So facing this knob, I know that if I pull it down to the right, it will actually get tighter as I go. So I pull this down to the right. It's getting tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and then I can't move it anymore, which is good. Now, if I try to actually loosen it by just unscrewing this, well, I've made it so tight that I can't do it. But C-stands allow you to have that leverage so that in order to loosen it, all I simply have to do is come back to this arm and push it this way. Oh my goodness, I really tightened that thing until it's loose enough that I can undo this. So what you're doing is using the power of gravity to make sure that even if this if you don't do it too t tight enough and this like slips down a little bit, it's not going to loosen it, it's only gonna tighten it. So whatever heavy thing that you have here is not in complete danger of collapsing onto the ground. If you're going the opposite way, if you're facing it this way, it's left is tight, right is loose. Now that's hard to remember. So if you're in a position where you wanna bring your light down this way, now, of course, if you leave the knob facing away from you, it's gonna get looser as it goes down, right? So you put something heavy on here, it's gonna to fall to the ground. If your C-stand is facing this way, you need the light to come down this way. Just turn this around, make sure that this large knob is facing you, and then you've got the righty-tighty, lefty-loosey scenario going on. 
I cannot stress to you how important this is. I've had assistants come on set who don't know this. They put a light on the end. They go the opposite way. The light gets loosened a little bit. Somebody bumps it. Thing falls down. The light falls down, hits somebody. You've got an insurance problem. So knob facing you, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Do not forget that. These are the legs. If you're wondering why I have tennis balls on the bottom, tennis balls are a really handy thing to have in your kit. Sometimes you'll be shooting at a location where the floor marks really easily, such as where we are today, or somewhere where the homeowner is really concerned about getting marks on their floor. Maybe it's a soft wood or something like that. So a bag of tennis balls in your kit with these slits cut out in them is really handy to help prevent your stands and possibly your tripods from damaging people's floors. Let's talk light modifiers. As I mentioned earlier, this is really what's gonna make a big difference in your photos, is the kind of light modifiers that you're using. I'm gonna first introduce you to my favorite one, one that I use almost all the time. This is the Westcott Shoot Through Umbrella. I love this because it functions almost as a miniature softbox. It's easily packable, as you can see. Now, you'll have to forgive my equipment. I do work a lot and it's well-worn, but it also goes to show that your stuff can be a little rough around the edges, but still work really well. So these ends are not really supposed to stick out, but like I said, it still functions just fine. So on the inside, it's white and it's surrounded by a silver lining. So basically what you do with this umbrella, rather than using it to reflect light back to you, you actually shoot the light through it. I'm gonna put it on this light and you can see what I mean. So as you can see, this is pretty much like a miniature softbox. It's a really beautiful light modifier. And as I said, I use it almost all the time. Another thing that's imperative in your kit is sandbags. Now I showed you how to use the arm on the C-stand so that the arm doesn't swing down and accidentally drop your light. But what happens if the entire C-stand blows over? What happens if it's really windy? That light modifier is like a sail. It's going to pick up that wind and it is going to fall over. So always put sandbags on the legs of your C-stands. Okay, we're all set up and we're ready to position the light to where I want it. I'm going to use a C-stand arm to position this umbrella to about right above my head for that perfect beauty lighting that I was talking about. The knuckle is facing me when I'm standing behind this light. So I know that when I move the arm over to the right, I'm gonna get a righty tighty. My light's gonna be secure. It's not gonna fall on anybody. Raise it up, tighten this just a bit. Righty tighty brings it down, keeps it secure. Keep going until it's pretty tight. Now this seems low, but of course, with the C-stand, you can raise that up very, very easily. So now I can position myself right underneath the light and start shooting. <laughs> 